Welcome to the second module in marketing during times of chaos. Now we're going to be diving into instant gratification. 70% of YouTube viewers say that they're open to learning about new products and services from brands. And this really speaks to the power of video. One of the biggest video platforms out there right now is TikTok. It's a short form video sharing app where users can share 15 second videos on practically any topic. With over 500 million global monthly users in just one year and over 1.5 billion downloads in that time, they are the seventh most downloaded app of the 2010s. In fact, TikTok is so addictive that they actively embed videos like this one directly into your feed to remind you to stop scrolling from time to time and take a break. And despite what you might think, it's not just an app for teenage girls lip syncing in their bedroom. It's a tightly knit community and it's a trend factory. So regardless of whether you plan to leverage TikTok as part of your brand strategy, I've distilled five key takeaways that any brand can learn from TikTok. The first one is authenticity. This is huge and I definitely can't emphasize this enough. If you compare TikTok to one of its earlier predecessors, Instagram, which by the way has its own video sharing <laughs> platform, you'll notice that authenticity is definitely the key differentiator here. Instagram is all about sharing that perfectly aspirational version of yourself that at the end of the day is unsustainable and unachievable. Whereas on TikTok, it's all about real people sharing real stories, real emotions. It definitely doesn't take itself too seriously and it's authentically relatable. This has even permeated the skincare world where we're seeing highly edited skin no longer acceptable in mainstream campaigns. A great example comes to us from Marc Jacobs and their Perfect Perfume campaign. They showcased a much wider variety of models than we're typically used to seeing from a luxury brand. The whole video, they're just repeating the word perfect over and over again, and that's because they're all perfect in their own way. The next tip is to become an early adopter and not to be afraid to try something, even if it's been untested. TikTok gave us a really unique opportunity to see the early adopter effect in action. Brands that started early on TikTok got noticed and stood out because it wasn't an oversaturated market. This allowed them to establish credibility quite quickly and build a large loyal audience that then translated across all their other social media platforms. The NBA is a great example. They started early on TikTok and they didn't start as a marketing campaign. They started as a user and posted funny videos like this one. And to date, they have 12 million followers and 250 million likes. Actually, that's what they received in their first year alone on the platform. I'm sure the numbers are much higher today. The next tip is to leverage organic content. This really ties back into our earlier point on UGC. Chipotle found a series of clips of millennials trying to get their boomer parents to say Chipotle correctly. And they didn't even ask for this. This was already organically out there. And all they did was compile those into a single video and post it. And to date, this is their highest viewed video across any platform. Take a look. Ooh. Society of boomers could say Chipotle correctly. Society of boomers could say Chipotle correctly. Society of boomers could say Chipotle correctly. <laughs> Socially, boomers could say Chipotle correctly. Oh, that says society. <laughs> it doesn't say society, it says Chipotle. The next tip is to create humanizing moments. TikTok teaches us that it's not about posting that perfect take every time. It's also about those funny, maybe even sad moments in between. This is Jen Atkins. She's the founder of Way Hair Care. And her and her team posted a YouTube video of them reading out the meanest reviews about one of their recently discontinued products. The whole video, they're laughing at themselves and genuinely thanking people for their critiques. And at the end, they shared the launch of their newly formulated product alongside happy customers, satisfied reviews. The last tip, but perhaps the most important tip, is to look for underserved communities that are not getting enough attention. 
Topicals in Use is perhaps the most Gen Z skincare brand out there. Founded by Olamide and Claudia, it's a woman of color owned skincare brand, and it celebrates all skin shades and all skin types, including psoriasis, hyperpigmentation, etc. And what's really interesting about their messaging is that they never promise to fix you because your appearance is not a problem to be solved. According to the head of consumer marketing at Spotify, when it comes to trying something new like TikTok, instead of looking at typical metrics of success, ask yourself, did we create a cultural moment? So to rechart your brand's future leveraging instant gratification, authenticity is huge. Don't be afraid to be an early adopter, leverage that organic content, create humanizing moments, and look for those underserved communities. So that wraps us up on our instant gratification module. Here are some workshop questions to consider. So in what ways can you capitalize on how consumers are already interacting with your brand online? And how can your brand be more inclusive of those communities that are not getting enough attention?